Hindu nationalist India MP calls to keep sharpened knives at home. I love some good old Hindutva incitement to violence. I actually don't love it. I hate it. We don't like it. You too? No, yes, that was against this. Yeah, yes, okay. that was complete sarcasm. Um, yes. on this is December, bad, YouTube. Okay. This is very bad. On December 25th, uh, Bharatiya Janata Party or BJP Member of Parliament, uh, Pragya Thakur of Madhya Pradesh, um, made controversial remarks on quote unquote love jihad and also told the Hindu gathering to prepare themselves in case someone attacks them with their quote unquote weapons. Uh, Thakur spoke about an incident that happened last February when a Bajrang Dal, which is a Hindu nationalist militant organization worker, was stabbed to death by two Muslims. She addressed the crowd saying, quote, keep weapons in your home, at least keep the knives used to cut vegetables sharp. Don't know what situation will arise when. Everyone has the right to self-protection. If someone infiltrates our homes and attacks us, it is our right to respond to them. Just like how we cut vegetables, it will also chop mouths and heads. Pragya Thakur said to the gathering that the Hindus have the right to retaliate against their attackers who hurt their dignity. Quote, love jihad. They, meaning Muslims, have a tradition of jihad. If they get nothing, they will do love jihad. Even if they do love, they do jihad in that. We Hindus love too. We love God. And then the quote goes on a little bit more. On January 7th, over 100 ex-civil servants penned an open letter requesting action in response to her speech. Quote, she is obviously fomenting hatred against non-Hindu communities and advocating violence against them, the letter stated. Okay, that, you know, it started acting like it's just about self-defense until it started generalizing so many things about Muslims and condemning them as a whole, which sounds as more like an end. More like the whole thing is an incitement to violence, which is absolutely nonsense. Because Armin, so, we are both very pro armed self defense. Yes, that is not something we have a problem with at yeah. all. The, the part that she goes and says, like they they are incapable of loving. Apparently, <laughs> Jesus, Christ. we love. Or if they do love, even if they do they, love, they, they still be doing do jihad. They <laughs> somehow they do. Jesus Christ. This is so like reducing and essentializing the evil in the people that you hate. Like, oh my God, like reducing your the others into something that is even incapable of love. I mean, um we 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 are careful when we say this about people like that, not to generalize that to all Hindus and even not to all Hindutva, okay? But it is people like her, and by people like her, I don't mean all Hindus and all Hindutva, I'm specifically talking about people who believe what she who said. Who have her mindset. Who have her mindset specifically, okay? Who are anti-love, okay? These are people who go out and um, describe other people's genuine love for each other as love jihad. These are people who go and harass people who, who crash weddings because they don't believe in their unions. These are people who go arrest people for being with the... It, as vigilantes it enforce their own rules on young couples who have found love in each other and telling them that their love is illegitimate because they're not of the same religion. These are people who have went in and abused women and have gotten to force the police to arrest a woman who was pregnant, okay, who was in love with a Muslim man and she was, she, her child died in custody, okay. Her baby died in custody because of this, because of the way that she was treated. In the, all of this, in the name of love, like in the and name they of were crushing love. Before the alleged anti force conversion law, anti love jihad law even was enacted. Right. These are people who are intimidating couples from being with each other by ma making laws that ma makes it necessary to publicly announce that you are together so that you get and your names and addresses be exposed publicly and the fact that this is a muslim man and this is a hindu woman so you are you get intimidated because now you're publicly people know that you're going getting together and where you live so they are you're up for you're you're open to harassment so in t using law laws as intimidation intimidation tactic from from getting people from hindus and muslims not to not to be with each other and the, the you are 
anti-love. You're crushing other people from lo lovers from being each other, from marrying each other. And then you dare say that we love, right? No, you destroy other people's love for, for each other. You're it's exactly the opposite. It's pro-segregation in general, because there have been many instances where there's just like two people hanging out, like one happens to be Muslim, one happens to be Hindu, and they get the crap beaten out of them, literally just because they're seen in the same place, maybe on the same motorcycle, da, 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 because they're just being friends. Like they can't even be seen in public together because it becomes a threat to their safety. Like you're not supposed to be seen with a girl like her. Yeah. They, they, they are the jihadis, okay? They are the anti-love jihad, okay? They are the, they're actually doing a jihad against genuine love. So you are the jihadis. You, you These types of Hindutva people, they're the anti-love jihad. Anyways. Too. yeah well she's known as being like a big extremist so i wasn't surprised by this at all but man it took a turn you can now get the sexiest blasphemous art ever known to mankind for free too sexy to show most of it here on youtube we draw muhammad hindu goddesses sexy hijabi art jesus mother mary japanese god greek gods and much much more click on the link below where it says get our free blasphemous art